The time has come now where the AI port is now available. So let's take a look at this video from Ubiquiti and then we'll have a look at some of the specs and what you can do with this device. Let me put a quick disclaimer in at the start. This is a reaction video and I will get a full review to you once I get my hands on one. I need to replace all my existing cameras to use Unify Protect? I mean, that's gonna blow out my budget. Well, let me tell you, Unify has got some great software features without a doubt. I, I, they've added license plate and face recognition. They, they, they got vehicle classification, but it is a closed system without Onviv, so you're going to have to get their cameras. Yeah, it looks like you're going to do some climbing and swapping, guy. Hey, guys, we actually just added Onviv support to protect. Really? Yeah. What? Who's this Viv and what are they on? Well, nah. We automatically detect any third-party cameras and help you add them to your site. I mean, that way it's a breeze to gradually migrate over to protect. Oh, oh okay. So you have Onviv support for mm -hmm. basic streaming and recording, but what about all the advanced AI features? For sure. Who are you? What the heck is that? Let's just say I represent the future of AI at Unify, and I'm here to end all skepticism. I conjured this piece of genius to transform and securely firewall any RTSP stream. With it, I can turn even your state-sponsored cameras into cutting-edge AI security sentinels that seamlessly integrate into our modern interface. Pretty sweet. That, that's huge. That, that's all we need. Yes, it is. Did we figure out who this Biff guy is? A really good joke in there where they talk about the state sponsored cameras so we can go and turn them now into AI beasts. So here it is in the EU store it's 199 dollars in the US and 216 euros including VAT in the European store and this is how we get it set up. Now there's two different ways you can do this you can either plug it directly into the camera or you can actually plug this into your switch and then have the ability to pair a camera that way. So you can choose either a Unify camera that has non-AI features or you can choose your third party camera that you have. Now the device itself has PoE output capability so it can power your camera from this device directly so you don't need to worry about that part. It has an SD card for edge recording but if you have a look at the Ubiquiti video the SD card support is coming soon so we'll take a look at that once they release that. In terms of deployment options you're probably thinking this looks very similar to the viewport so I haven't got one on me but I would imagine there might be some sort of wall mount in there and then also there will be some sort of rack mount option coming soon and if you look back through some of Ubiquiti's previous videos you might get a little sneak peek of what that rack mount looks like and one thing to know currently this is a one-to-one -one mapping so one camera to one device but there will be further deployments coming soon where you can map multiple cameras to this so just because at the moment there is a one-to-one -one, but there is more coming soon with further software updates for those that are wondering about the PTZ camera there is support within this AI port to be able to use your PTZ controls Let's finally quickly jump down to the technical specs in terms of what the device can do. And we can see there's a gigabit interface in there. In terms of max camera resolution that it can support is 3840 by 2160, so it does a 4K camera. The power method is PoE to power the device. However, if you require PoE output, you need the PoE plus for input. And if you need a PoE plus output, you need a PoE plus plus input. There's some LEDs on there and it shows you the operating, the ambient operating temperatures, uh, not a lot else in there. And it shows you that you need to be running Unify Protect 5.1 or later. As I mentioned, I don't have one with me currently at the moment, but as soon as I get one, let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want to see. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.